Rob F. live in Lemoore, California at the site of Deck the Halls, the next installment of the Tachi Palace Fights. And I'm standing here with the brand new welterweight Tachi Palace Fights champion, John Alessio. John, how are you doing? You just stepped out of the cage. I feel real good, man. Uh, the fight just seemed real quick to me. And uh, I, didn't even, I wasn't even paying attention that I was in the third round. I just felt, felt so fresh out there and good. And uh, I trained real hard for this fight. Uh, my coach has put a lot of work in into me this fight, and uh, I was just very confident going in, and it feels good to come out on top. I'm going to say a sentence that I think a lot of a lot of music fans will be happy to hear, but it's just very bizarre, but you TKO'd Phil Collins. How does that feel? <laughs> feels really good, man, especially a guy that you know likes to stand and bang and go out there and knock people out, uh, to go out there and out outstrike them. Uh, it was, felt good, you know, and I owe that all to my boxing coach, Gil Martinez, um, all my teammates at Extreme Couture and Drysdale Jiu-Jitsu. Let me ask you something because uh, you said you didn't know that was in, uh, you didn't the fight ended in the third round, but uh, people started booing a little bit because I don't know if you heard that. Did you hear them booing? Uh, I really don't pay attention to the crowd at all. All I do is listen to my corner man and, and just keep doing what I got to do. And you know, I, I was confident that eventually, you know, the finish would come. You know, it was just a matter of fighting smart and playing it smart, and uh, you know, just eventually it would come. Well, it was well played because you just can't hurry things like that. You know what I mean? You can't hurry a fight. Can't hurry love, you know what I mean? You just, it's, you, you can't do that. Yeah, this was a five-round title fight. I had five rounds to pick up the win, um, and and I knew it would come eventually. It was just a matter of time, you know. Like I said, I had 25 minutes to take care of business, and uh, you know, I did it in the third round. So, let me ask you something, because you, when they say, when they talk about uh, MMA fighters, I know the word veteran is tossed around a lot, but you yourself, you are a true veteran. You have been around since the 90s. Okay. So, this is, I mean, you are very, very. Uh, I would say enveloped in, in the sport. This is your life, which is it's just good to see. And uh, now you're you're working your way up. What is the goal after after being the Tachi Palace Fights champion? Well, definitely would like to hold on to this belt for a while, and uh, you know, continue to being the champion here. And of course, obviously, every fighter's goal is to get back to the UFC uh, or compete in the UFC, and and that is my ultimate goal. But you know, I am a proud Tachi champion. Uh, I couldn't be more. Th more thankful for this opportunity to fight for the belt, and uh, I just hope I can be a good champion for the Tachi tribe and everybody here. It's, it's nice to see because a lot of people they, they they juggle the day job and then they juggle the the fight life. But you yourself, I mean, you don't lead any separate life, no separate lives here. True fighter, true champion here. Yeah, absolutely. This is what I do for a living. Uh, this is all I do. I train, I, I fight, uh, I live, eat, sleep, breathe this sport. Let me ask you something. Did you did you expect to to, to finish the fight in the way? It ended. It, that was a pretty devastating finish. Uh, was something in, in the air tonight, perhaps? <laughs> yeah, and it was a KO for me. And you, you know, I got one of the best striking coaches in the business. A guy that doesn't get much love as far as a coach, you know, and, and that's uh, Gil Martinez. And he's made my hands so much better. I think he's the best striking uh, coach in the business. And uh, like I said, you know, I pretty much owe all of the, the all of this championship to him. How many how many fights do you have now in uh, the Tachi Palace? This is my second fight. Uh, first one against War Machine, and this one against uh, Phil Collins. Um, I plan on being the champ for a very long time. So, do you come out to Lemoore outside of the fights at all? Yeah, I'm sorry, what? Do you come out to Lemoore, the area, Lemoore, the city, uh, the town? Well, I live in Las Vegas, so you know I, I've only ever came out here to com to compete. You know, I once when it was the WC back in the day, and now twice for Tachi Palace. And you know, I plan on coming back a lot, and you know, either sit ringside with my belt or be fighting in the cage. Sometimes it gets dry around this area. It really does. And I, a lot of people just say they wish it would rain. It would rain down. I sometimes wish it would just rain down. I live in Las Vegas. It's dry out there too, so I know how you're feeling. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to let you go here. I'm going to get, get uh, Phil Collins uh, side because I need to get both sides of the story. Absolutely. Okay. Um, just a couple a couple more things. Uh, number one, um, do you know do, where is your training camp based out of? Las Vegas, Nevada. Yeah, Extreme Couture and Robert Drysdale Jiu-Jitsu. How do you feel about seeing uh, Randy Couture receiving an award last night at the MMA Awards? Did you know about that? Yeah, I, I heard it was a Lifetime Achievement Award. Uh, of course, I didn't get to see it. You know, I was mentally preparing for my fight and stuff. So, uh, but you know, he's my my head trainer, the gym I train at, um, and and he deserves it. Uh, if anybody out there deserves a Lifetime Achievement, it's him. Susu Studio. <laughs> Is that what he walked out to? No, I, 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 I think you should have. I think you should play, play the whole thing. Yeah, well, I mean, in, it was in the air tonight for me to be a champ. <laughs> We're going to leave it at that. I'm Rob F. here with the brand new welterweight champ, John Alessio. John, thanks so much for the time. Thanks for, thanks for having me, man.